From gratitude to expectancy. When someone goes from gratitude to expectancy. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brianne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I just share with you my perspective on different topics, as is with this one. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels. The links are pinned at the top of the comment section below. So what happens when someone goes from gratitude to expectancy? Usually, after expectancy comes demanding and entitle, entitlement and demanding. So it goes gratitude, expectancy, entitlement, and demanding. And when people go beyond gratitude, I take notice when they start to go into expecting, you know, and it's very easy for people to do that. We, you know, part of life is expecting things to stay the same or expecting people to perform what they say that they're going to perform. And I'm not talking about that, but I am talking about when someone does something nice for us and maybe they do it a couple times, then we start to really begin to go beyond gratitude attitude towards expectancy and after a while we expect it all the time we feel entitled to it and then after we feel entitled to it if we're not getting it or we want more now we begin to demand it now I'm not saying that I do that because I don't do that I'm a very grateful person and yet I do see people go from gratitude to um, expectancy to entitlement oh well I should have it to demanding for it. And I think people begin to fail in life when they get to that point of expectancy, entitlement, and demanding. They, people tend to fail in relationships and in other areas of life. So I believe in always keeping a grateful spirit. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.